Okay, so starting back. Uh, the house I lived in was, um, I think it was the house that my father was born in, in Frankfurt, Philadelphia. And um, most kids were born in, uh, at home, but I was born in Frankfurt Hospital, which is still there, by the way. Did you have a TV? No TV, no. We had a uh, Victorola for music. And my mother and father were both loved dancing, you know, ballroom dancing. And um, we always played music. The house was always music. School was good, for me anyway. It was Catholic school and it was, uh, all the teachers were nuns. And they were very strict nuns, but I wasn't, I was a good girl. I didn't get cracked on the knuckles as much. <laughs> it was quite an experience. They were tough, so you learn to be, you know, stand on your own. Joining the military was um, what well, was very exciting. That was in 1944 that I enlisted. And leaving home was quite a shock to me because I'd never been away, you know, for any length of time. So it took me a while to get used to it. We had the same things as the men did. We had to train. We had basic training and we lived in barracks, just all women, and um, we went to school. We had a, I went to a clerk school, because that was what I was going to be, a clerk. I worked at um, the Pentagon, was one of my jobs, key punching. There was no uh, computers or anything like that, it was all key punch. And then uh, I met my husband not long after that. He also was a military man. He had been out of service three years. I was one of the oldest people to get married. Most of my girlfriends were married at 19, 18 and 19. I was 27, he was 28. And um, had five children. We would go on family outings and camping out. We did it all through the years as they were growing up. And I got my license at the age of 40. How'd you learn how to drive? My husband taught me. And that was the worst thing I could have. <laughs> he taught me to drive, but not. he wasn't too happy about it because every time I did something dumb, he did, gritted his teeth. But I turned out to be a pretty good driver anyway. <laughs> Do you ever have like one of those one, you know, main, I guess, memories that you look back on and just dwell on or anything like that? I can say it was a full life, I'll tell you. You know, ones that you remember all your life. It was, you know, the family get together and and the dinners, the dinners that we had. Thanksgiving was always a big thing because it was family. A lot of family. There were a lot of good times. There were a lot of parties too. Dinner always turned out too good, but there were a lot of parties. <laughs> no, uh, there were a little fights. <laughs> yeah. They called the Fighting Irish, you know. <laughs> I guess we're most definitely that. So is there, is there a secret to living a long life, would you say? I, um, I couldn't say because I just did everything I felt like doing. I mean, I was not on any strict diets or anything like that. I liked to dance. I danced an awful lot. 